We got something to do on the board. Let's all get to it. Drake Lawson has a tough job. He spends his days at Harpool Middle School talking about things that happened more than 200 years ago. And you wonder why we switched from the Articles of Confederation to Constitution. To a bunch of people that are almost always more focused on the present. But he makes it work because he understands his audience. When I come into the classroom, I, I understand that they're 13 years old, right? And if you just say, oh, we're going to talk about Congress today, immediately you're going to want to go to sleep. But if I can talk to them in a way of like, today we did uh, the whipped. Whipped is good, all right? Yeah, that was a great dance move, right? W-I-P-T, the strengths of Articles of Confederation, all of that sounds boring, but when I can do a fancy dance move that they can relate to, or I can put up a meme that like they understand what's going on in a meme, all of a sudden they start to care a little bit more. Drake knows how to make these kids care because not long ago, he was one of them. He went to elementary school at Hawk, middle school at Crownover, and high school at Geyer. He's a Denton kid whose teaching roots go way back. Even as a seventh grader, he had so much compassion and maturity. And so I was a co-teacher in one of his classes and one of my students had a really difficult time socially um, and academically. And Drake actually wanted to sit next to him and said, hey, I worked with him all through um, elementary. You know, I, I would love to sit next to him again and, and, and help him out. Drake still has that strong interest in others. He always finds time to talk to his kids about their present. What do you do in those competitions? While teaching them about the past. There's a unique connection in his classes. And that's a big reason Lawson is considered one of the best young teachers in Texas. This year, he won the Novo Award, which is reserved for the best young social studies teacher in the state. It's a nice honor, but honors aren't why he loves standing in front of his classes every day. But at the end of the day, to be a social studies teacher, to really embrace that job title, you've got to teach them how to be a better person. We have to. And whether we are, it's written in our job description or not, we've got to make sure our students understand the story of us in order to move forward. This is what I am meant to do. This, is, this has been some of the greatest moments of my life, talking with students, not only just about history, but about what makes them happy. That's the best part about being a teacher, seeing the students succeed in whatever it is that makes them happy.